Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to another leagues video. And the plan for today is simple. Ever since we got to the tier 8 relic, I have been neglecting points completely. I mean, there is no real motivation to grind points after you unlock all the relics. Aside from the fact that I do want to reach dragon tier by the end of these leagues. So with that in mind, we're going to be starting today's episode on 37,760 points in a good old adamant tier. And we're going to see how many points we can go. I'm still going to PVM. We're still going to do interesting things. I'm just going to put a little bit extra emphasis on actually finishing some points. Starting today off with some Slayer. We are very close to 99 Slayer and I think this would be a very good first goal. My general rule of thumb is I'm going to be doing tasks that have superior versions. So for example, Kurasks, I'm gonna go ahead and do those. Here is the first superior of the episode and honestly, as funny as it sounds, my main reason why I like this place is the coconut drops. This protects my magic trees and I will need a lot of those for my farming XP. But anyways, 45k XP and we pull just a clue and some herbs. Another superior. I don't think there's necessarily anything we need from this aside from maybe eternal gem, but I don't know how useful that would be. We didn't get anything from this one. Looks like we are going to be going back to Sire and I am one bludgeon piece away from a lot of points. So let's see if we get lucky. Doing a quick farming run before we do Sire. Here's 83 and here is 84 farming. Opa, first skill back and we get an Sired. All right, if we get a bludgeon, we have a lot of points just waiting to be claimed and we do get the last bludgeon piece. All right, so I will go and make a bludgeon right now, but we still need to kill 300 Abyssal Sire in total. So I will continue killing it, even though at the moment we got the dagger, we got the bludgeons. I don't think there's anything else we need from the Sire. We even got the Abyssal head. All right, so let's see how easy it is. You would have the faintest idea how to put this together maybe someone in the nexus could assist you all right that is not how we do it perhaps what we need to do is speak to the overseer if i remember correctly and can i maybe just use it on this guy ah there we go he yoinks my components and creates us the abyssal bludgeon thank you all right uh let's wear this how many points 200 points beautiful and we can now continue just killing sire there's nothing really else uh, that we need from drops. It is just, it's just raining on sires right now. I don't know what to say. Let's see what we get from this one. And we start on another bludgeon. We have just defeated 150 abyssal sire. And we also just got 98 slayer in the same kill. One more level to go. There it is, 154. And we got another sire. Let's take a look at what we get. I would still hope for a jar. I think getting a jar would be decent. Getting a pet would be... Great as well, let's take a look. Another bludgeon piece. We're gonna get two bludgeons. The unfortunate thing about the bludgeon is it only algs for 156k. So, yeah, not really excited about the dupe on that, but it is what it is. Here we go. We got another unsired, milking it a little bit this time around. But let's take a look and see what do we get from this one. Again, pet is 1 in 25 after you get a unsired, so extremely likely. And the jar is 1 in 10, so both of those would be good for us, but we get the last bludgeon piece. So again, that's completing our second bludgeon. Uh, we are gonna go right back and we still have a hundred of these to kill. Late night chilling and I'm just going to spend all of my Soul Wars points on the Spoils of War. I don't need any combat XP, so we're gonna just be banking all of these and hoping I get Rune Essence so I can finish 99 Rune Crafting. Nice, one rune essence there. We fast open these. Another essence, perfect. And no more essence. Did I get the pet? I did not get the pet. Since it is currently extremely late, I decided to do some Alk Herbivore. What I need to do is get a Torstall from here, but also I need to stack up on just 100 more grimy weed in order to finish another task. So we'll do Herbivore for a bit, not too long, but this will be useful. Thought this would never happen, but here is a Torstall from Herbie. I'm gonna do 50 right now, and then we're gonna be able to do what I actually wanted to do. All right, a bunch of Herbivore fire making later, and here is 50. I believe I should have 1,000 grimy herbs in the bank right now, so I could do the next task. We went from 80 to 86 Hunter, basically 87. I'm two Herbivores away from 87, and from 90 to 92 fire making. So pretty decent session. Uh, let's see if we have enough herbs.
Here is 85 farming. I accidentally burnt all my magic logs and now I need to chop some more so I can do my birdhouse runs. Simply because that's one of the only ways for me to get a Kalquad seed or a killing giant mole. So I'm gonna stay on top of the birdhouses and then we do the other tasks. Apparently dismantling 20 birdhouses is also a task, I didn't even know. Did we get lucky today? Did I get the seed that we need? No, three apple seeds, not what we wanted. This is the task. We need 1000 unidentified herbs and we need to speak to Zahur and ask him to make unfinished potions. Oh, I need to do diaries first. Oh man, okay, let's go and do desert diaries. Easy desert diaries completed. That is hard diaries completed, now just mediums to go. And just like that, easy, medium and hard completed. Let's claim the rewards identify the herbs and then move on all right we got some lamps let's put it on to herblar that's gonna be 86 more onto herblar that's gonna be still 86 and more onto herblar and that's now gonna be 87 i'm trying to get this to 90 uh, because then we can do the varrock elites as well but that's pretty helpful let's go identify our herbs finally i don't know if i want him to clean my herbs or if i do it manually i think i'll do it manually for more xp Hey, there it is, making 1000 unfinished potions and we can now actually train a bit of Herblor. I'm trying to get to 90 or 91, let's see if we have some sort of resources for that. Doing the elite diary in Falador but also making a brew, a little bit of points. It is pretty late into the game but I can finally start making ranging potions and uh, from today onward I will have a lot. I don't know what it is but I'm super lazy when it comes to training Herblor on all of my accounts but now that I have everything I should be able to just run around, make potions, hopefully get decent level and then maybe the future lamps I can actually throw on agility and not feel too bad about it. Apparently making 20 ranging potions was also a task. That is making a compost potion. And funnily enough, I didn't actually know what these are supposed to do. But if you use this on a regular compost, you create a super compost. And then obviously if you use volcanic ash on super compost, you create ultra compost. So these are actually going to be useful for us. Whilst I'm making my potions, I'll be doing herbivore. And at the same time, also obviously training herblur. That's 88. We can now make manafite remedies. I do believe this is something I can do as well because I did get the lily drop. So we'll look into that after I'm done with my ranging potions. Well, that's pretty unlucky. I need to make 50 of these, 50 of the Manifite Remedies, and I can only make 33. I'll just make this 33 before I forget, and then I'll use the rest on the Ranging Pots. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying Leagues, you should probably subscribe. And there it is, finally 90 Herblur, meaning we can now create Super Combat Potions, unconveniently already located in the bank here. So I think I need one Attack Potion. Maybe I need a Tier 4, one Defense, uh, one Strength. And one Torstal, I believe. I only have one because I accidentally made 14 of these ones. Uh, but let me just do this. And add one of these to this. And that worked. Perfect. And 200 points on top of that. Put this on pie dish. Okay, we have pie dish. Now I need maybe strawberry. Part summer pie. Okay. Then maybe watermelon. And then maybe cooking apple. And then I cook it. Hey, there it is. Nice. And there we go. That does it. Elite Varok Diaries are also completed. We're gonna go claim the rewards. And then I think it is time to finally do some PvE for today. Doing all these diaries and tasks brought us almost up to 40,000 points, which is sick. But let's go ahead and speak to Toby. And again, the dilemma. Do I use it on Herb? Do I use it on Agility? I do believe I will use all the lamps from now on on Agility. Ah, dude, it's hard, man. It's hard to decide. There is a task for me to create forgotten brews. Okay, how about we do it this way? We use one more lamp on Herblor and then no more lamps on Herblor. So all the future lamps will be going on to agility. There it is. Perfect. I tried finishing my Slayer task and finishing some Sire, but every single room is full, so I decided to visit my enemy. If you guys do not know, this is how my next log looks like at the moment. 5 out of 8, 131 next kills. Most of these are duos and solos. So I have 2 Torva bodies, 2 Zarite Vampresses, enough Nihil shards, I even have a pet and an Ancient Hilt. No horn though to show for it, and uh, this place burns you out. One kill takes about... I don't know, 8 minutes if you're soloing, something like that. I'm at the point where I'm pretty burnt from this place. I just want to get the Nihil Horn and get out of here. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we maybe get lucky in today's attempt. This kill, let's see what do we get. And we get some rubies and soul runes. Okay, another solo next. Please. 
we get diamonds and we get air runes. 134k C already. I think I'll be going to do some TOA right now. So let's gear up for that. I still need Mazori legs and a lot of other things would be decent. Apparently I just completed perfect Krondis. That's interesting. We're doing trios right now, which is like not efficient at all. But uh, listen, we're having fun. It's fine. And we need some white uh, lights anyways. Okay, what the fuck? This is hard. Hey, yo. The fuck am I? What the fuck is this? <laughs> fuck. Okay, well that was that was uh, unnecessarily hard. Let's put it that way. I took way too many switches. My inventory. Let's not talk about it. But we did it. Let's see who gets the purple. Somebody. I don't know if it's me. Uh, could it be me? I don't think it is me, is it? It's helicopter. Let's take a look what he gets. Another one of those. He has like a million of those. We need white lilies. I that's not the best. I really need lilies basically, but yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. There's a purple. I hope it's mine. Let's take a look. Is it mine? It might be mine. I think it is mine. Okay, 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 okay. What do we want? We want Mazori chaps. I want Fang as well. Let's take a look. Oh man. I really want Mazori legs. Like, that's what I really, really want. And no ring. Ah, always the ring. I can out these, I guess. Here we go, here we go. Back to back situation. We are now. Uh, <laughs> okay, buddy. We are now doing some duos. Uh, there's another purple. Is it back to back in my name? It is. Oh my god, come on. No ring, bro. Come on, Mazori legs. Fang is good. Shield is good. Staff is good. Just. No dupes, please, please. <gasps> no, 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 I'm so sick, needs it. Oi, 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 oi. Tuma can shadow, there is no way, by the way. <laughs> there is absolutely no way. I am, uh, I am sorry. There is no way. And the jewel of the sun, I don't really know what this does. But Tuma can shadow, I've never even used this weapon. I know for a fact it's better than my master one, though. Know? Holy, that's also a lot of points. There is no way I pulled it. So apparently I need chaos runes and I need soul runes and that's it. Uh, let's just 1500. We will be using this thing all the time if we wear it. Oh, it's beautiful. 400 points for this. And we are now officially over 40,000 points, which is very nice. Oh man, this looks sick. Yo, there's 50 million hit points XP. I did not know this one was coming up. And we're almost at another next solo. The reason why I came back here is... Well, I just had a little TOA break and uh, now I'm alone. So I'm gonna see if I get uh, lucky on the... Solo drop here as well. And we get more uh, rubies and some death runes. Kill count 135. I didn't realize, but all of these rubies and all of these diamonds are all coming from solo next. That's a lot of crafting XP here. Probably enough to finish 99. Or at least get very close. I could also just go and do more herbie and kind of chill a bit. But let's do at least one more kill. Death runes and supplies. I don't know why, but I'm really not feeling next right now. However, here's the palm tree that finally grew. And this is one of the Karamja tasks and one of the otherwise tasks as well. Decent XP also. But the best part is I also pulled a Kalquat seed from my bird's nest. So that means I can actually finish my Karamja Elite Diaries, which is pretty hard to do. So I'm very happy to have that almost done. Uh, and I'm just going to plant another tree here, but I kind of forgot everything. So I'll be back. Here's 86 farming, just preparing the poison ivy berries, which I'll use to protect my Kalkwat seed. So everything is coming together now. Here is 90 hunter, and I've also been doing a bit of crafting. I'm down to rubies right now, and crafting is almost 95 as well. So this is basically my go-to activity at the moment. I don't know why, but it's super chill. I just wanted to do it. I got up to 91 Herblor, 96 crafting, and now I'm back to finish my Slayer journey. I'm 250k away. It should be an easy process. Here's a superior. I could do Sire, but I need one more task of Abyssal Demons anyways to finish it. Right now my Sire KC is 242, so the next time I get an Abyssal Demon task, I will do 60 more. However, from this superior, we got just about nothing. Hey, there it is, the big level 99th Slayer. 
This was one of the last things I wanted to do before ending the episode for today. As always, I do hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, give it a like, maybe leave it a comment. We are ending today on 40,500 points. And in the next episodes, we will start working towards really increasing those, getting all the way up to Dragon Tier for sure. So I am pretty excited to see where the future takes us on this account. But more about that tomorrow. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Be safe and bye-bye.